Welcome back to Underrated Movies. I'm your guy, I'm your man, Mr. Alton Henry, and today I'm going to talk to you about another film. Hell or High Water, starring Chris Pine, Ben Forster, and Jeff Bridges. I almost said Ben Mendelsohn, or Nicholson, I don't know why. It's a story about two brothers decide to rob a bank to reach a certain amount to save their ranch, while two Texas Rangers, or two police officers are on the trail of investigating their activities and hopefully leading up to the bank robbers capture and I remember hearing about this movie and it's critically um, acclaimed reception from film festivals I haven't seen it until I bought the DVD and uh, it was regarded as one of the highest rated movies of 2016 of that year. And, uh, you know, one day I decided to buy the film because I was curious about the hype about it. And this was a pretty goddamn good ass movie. And what I really liked about this, that. It has one of those cliche stories you've seen before, similar to the town, similar to Heat, similar to, you know, it's a cops and robbers movie. But when I was watching this film, I like how subtle it feels. I like how calm the movie kind of feels a little bit. I like that, that there's a lot of character, um, there's a, there's a lot of character development in this. This is mostly like a character driven film, but the film was able to manage character with action. I mean, it's more character than action, but it's able to mix that with, um, I believe with a good balance. I didn't really feel, I mean, there's some cliche moments you have, but it's not like cliche to the point where it feels forced. And I like that it doesn't feel forced. And I like that the film does its own thing without trying to do anything to feel like it pays tribute to other movies or like it reminds you of, of other films. And I think this is one of the rare of, of the inception of modern Westerns or, or yeah, neo-Westerns, I think the term is for it now. Um, I think this film kind of jump started where it's like um, a Western but set during modern times. And uh, I think the writer Taylor Sheridan, who's actually become one of my favorite writers, um, really sells this film in the writing with you dealing with a lot of characters that are kind of questioning their um, their morality. They're, they're they're like right or wrong even though they're doing certain things that are wrong it's going to be good for them for their benefit or you see the struggle the 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 um and the um mental i guess breakdown of when they commit certain things in the film certain acts or certain things or certain obstacles they go through you see it you see it having a big impact on them and not in a good way. So you see them trying to overcome it and whether they move on from it or not, you can still feel that they may not move on from it right away. There was an example, uh, which I won't disclose in this, in this video, maybe in another, another video I might talk about, um, uh, where you see them trying to move on, but they don't move on fully right away and it still haunts them but they enjoy maybe the clarity or just they enjoy of uh, the moment of finally having answers to their, to their, to their issues. Um, ben Forster, my God, amazing actor. And I feel sorry for actors that are really like actors, actors. I feel like that's a, um, craft or a type of genre of a film that you don't re we're not going to normally see anymore or it's not as much and it's going to be hard to really find out well i'm going to find it out for you in case you really want to you know watch those kind of movies i'm here to get that for you 
Um, Chris Pine is great. Uh, Jeff Bridges is also great. Um, but I feel like this film is kind of geared towards Ben Forster, who, who steals every single scene in this film. And I like how the film doesn't feel oversaturated with a lot of, of with a lot of like Hollywood vibes. It's a gritty, but somewhat mellow Western, modern Western. And I like that the film takes time building up. Um, I like that it's building up conflict, uh, and it's and it's and it focuses more on internal conflict for the characters instead of like having the characters kind of but like budge or face to face or like like you know like Jeff Bridges and then the brothers basically like having a face off, which eventually they do towards the end, but it's more and. Uh, internal where the characters are really trying to combat um, their fears and their struggles and you and I, and you'll see that I actually like that kind of storytelling where it takes its time getting to know the character understanding their struggle and rooting for them even though they might do certain actions that might be wrong but to see them overcoming it in, in a way that brings them some sort of um, satisfaction um, honestly I don't have issues with this film this is a perfect film for anyone looking for a good western or a good action crime film this is a pretty good film a pretty good film um, what I wish I saw in the theaters um, like it's it it it's a, it's just a great film. It's it's a great uh, modern western film, and it's one I think I think it, it's getting some hype. But you know I think the film's like what seven six years old now. Um, I feel like the hype. I mean obviously it's you know, but I feel when the movie came out you know there was hype for it. Um, but it's a film I could re definitely recommend. You should go back to to rewatch and tell your friends and explore more of this film. Um, this is a pretty good one. An amazing gem. Hell or high water? Comment below. Let me know if you have seen it, what you thought about it, and let me know what is your favorite underrated movie.